Hello? Is the thing on? Yeah, it looks like it's on. I'm using a different app to record audio than I usually do. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm at uh, Circle K Runtom in Drammen. Uh, I'm charging up to the E up up to 100%. Uh, the reason for this is uh, last time uh, when I did the test, I saw that I had vastly overestimated the range when using um, a better route planner. I think I put in eight, 90%. I thought I had put in 80% and I got back with about the same. There's a lot of noisy fossils around here. Uh, and I think I got back, back with around the same um, state of charge as I would have if I had. I put in 10% degradation on the battery. And also when I uh, calculated it afterwards, I think I ended up with something like 12 kilowatt hours total. Now, uh, when this car is new, it's uh, according to EV database, as you can see here, um, it has uh, a, a usable battery capacity of 16 kilowatt hours or about 95 kilometers of range, but that depends on how you drive, of course. So what I'm going to do now is uh, charge it up to 100%, drive it almost down to zero, <laughs> briefly plug it in to see what state of charge is and try to calculate what actual uh, usable kilowatt hours that are in the car. Uh, I'm going to drive back and forth to, um, or first to Grelland and then back and forth, and forth a bit around there. Um, because there's a charger nearby. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm going to keep the speed around or I'm going to keep it as close to 100 kilometers as possible to see if I can get a proper, you know, um, consumption at that speed as well. I should probably have done 110 to get it in the better route planner, but uh, a better route planner says 161 at 110, if I don't remember incorrectly. So, yeah, uh, currently the state of charge is 95%. <laughs> And by the way, uh, Circle K has massively increased their price. It's now four and a half nook per kilowatt hours. It used to be two and a half. And the, the power price has gone down. So I don't know why these companies keep increasing the prices. It's a bit silly. The only one who doesn't do that is Tesla. <laughs> anyway, uh, char uh, charging up and um, I'll report back in when I'm at 100%. All right. So I've been sitting here like an idiot for 10 minutes and uh, I didn't notice that the uh, charging didn't go up and it actually stopped at 95%. I tried to charge again and again it stopped at 95%. So I think it's the charger itself may be limited so it doesn't go all the way up. I have charged this car to 100% before and it does it no problem. But as you can see, it's not there right now. <laughs> And um, I just have to do the math from 95% and down instead of 100%. Anyway, I'll, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> I'm gonna reset the trip meter. I think it's actually better from this side, but it's kind of awkward to hold. Let's see. No, definitely better from the other side. <laughs> So I'm going to reset. It says 111 kilometers of range, but I've been driving downhill now. Reset. Yeah, now it's reset. You can see here, I've driven, this car has gone 59,814 kilometers. So that's quite far and it's about five years old. And um, the history, can you see this? It's zero, zero, zero. The history is that uh, this car was um, owned by, uh, by a woman <laughs> and uh, it, it was not connected to we or the, the, the Volkswagen app, so it didn't have any limit on charging. So I think it's been charged to 100% every day before I got it, except when it was standing in the showroom for a year waiting to be sold, and I think it has been 0% in that time. So I don't think this is normal degradation. It hasn't been treated well, this car. <laughs> anyway, now I'm going to drive from 95% uh, 
and down as close to zero as I can. Right, I just passed about 25% and I've only driven 16 kilometers. But there's been a lot of uphill and you can see the average consumption has been 17.5 or 175 watt hours per kilometer. So, <laughs> still quite a way to go. It went up to 17 kilometers. I had this Model 3 behind me and uh, I'm going 10 kilometers below the speed limit here. And uh, this guy, I think he got fooled by the, you know, the traffic aware cruise control. It's like boiling a frog slowly. When you get behind the slow car, you don't notice that your car slows down and suddenly you're driving way too slow. <laughs> So after maybe three, four minutes, he passed me. But here I think see the speed limit is going down to 100, so that's that's the speed I'm going now. Still not at Grelan, but I'll be there pretty soon. All right, I'm about to pass 50% state of charge, and I have driven 34 kilometers, so. Yeah, I think it's been doing almost worse. Well, I was quite a bit below 75% when I checked at when it had 17 kilometers. So, yeah, I think this is correct. And it does 163 watt hours per kilometer. That's more than a better route planner claims at 110 for some reason. But you see, it's, it seems like it's a fairly nice day today, but it's actually blowing quite hard. I can feel the wind tugging on the car all the time, and I'm sure that affects consumption as well. And I'm not sure if I've gone totally straightforward. It's been a bit up and down as well. But there it is, passing 50% and 36 kilometers. So I'm going to turn around yeah, maybe in uh, a Norwegian meal or 10 kilometers. Can you see this? It's, it's very bright. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna turn around uh, in not too long, so so that I don't go, so that I don't don't stop at least. <laughs> I did bring my Type 2 cable just in case. Now it's a tunnel. It's a bit noisy. Yeah, I'll be back. Right, I just passed 25% and I've done 57 kilometers at 155 watt hours per kilometer. Car claims 19 kilometer left. <laughs> so if you add those together, it comes to around 80 kilometers, uh, well, 76 at this moment. But I'm not going to go all the way there. I hope I have enough juice to get back to Grelland. Oh. <laughs> it claims that the closest charging station is outside of range. I hope not. <laughs> no, I don't want to go there. Yeah. No, there we go. So, almost 60 kilometers now. Uh, I think I should be able to make it. <laughs> we'll find out. If not, I have to call Nuff and they have to pick me up. So it's a bit more shady now. I've only been driving for 41 minutes. So it's, it's not a long distance car, it's a city car. But it's kind of funny to see how far it actually goes. And the battery capacity, how much has it degraded? So we'll find out soon. <laughs> Look, it's already dropped 5% since I started the, this clip. Now I'm... yeah. Not quite time to hypermile yet. <laughs> right, I am at Kjellan. As you can see here, there's quite a few people charging here today. Uh, I've done 66 kilometers and used I've used 149 watt-hours per kilometer. So that's actually... The, a better route planner is not 
seems to be correct in this regard. Uh, I have 12 kilometers range left. <laughs> so that means that um, the car has spent about 9.8 kilowatt hours and I left with 95% and I'm here with about 12% ish. That means if you take 149 watt hour per kilometers times 66 kilometers divided by 1000, you get about 9.8 watt hours, watt hours, kilowatt hours. <laughs> um, and if you divide that by 783, that's a, a bit shy of 12 kilowatt hours. So that means the car has lost four kilowatt hours in available energy. I think there was a bit lost uh, due to the wind and the, all that kind. So I think it has about 12 kilowatt hours available. So it's lost four. That means it has a degradation of 25%. <laughs> so treat your batteries nice, guys. Uh, now I'm going to charge up to 50%-ish. Uh, it takes maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And uh, I'm going to eat dinner. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. <laughs>